Hey everybody, in this video I'll be collaborating with my friends at Dark World. Recently YouTube has disabled their account and they were forced to start from scratch. This video was scripted and edited by them, so if you like it, then please go check them out. Thanks. YouTube is a platform made up of user-generated content. This allows people to be creative and make whatever they want. However, with so many people on YouTube, you're bound to come across some videos that give you that dark, inexplicable feeling in the pit of your stomach. In this video, we cover some of the darkest channels on YouTube that are sure to leave you confused and paranoid. We're going to start this video off with someone you've probably heard of before, David Firth. David Firth is an English animator mostly known for his animated series Salad Fingers. Salad Fingers is a character that is unable to perceive what is alive and what is inanimate, speaking to his finger puppets and a dead body as if though they were real people. David started his YouTube channel back in 2006 with his first video being a stop motion animation of a camcorder repairing itself. However. This isn't the first place David started uploading videos to. Before YouTube was around, he uploaded his videos to Newgrounds and embedded them on his website fatpie.com. And while on the topic of fatpie.com, we discovered that David has hidden an easter egg within his site. If you click on the animation tab and go to the second or third page and wait around 7 minutes, Salad Fingers will start to talk to you. I'm going to have a good time with you. I'm going to make you party. I'm going to tell you all of the things that I tell my fingers at night. And I'm going to make sure that you listen. <laughs> I've been walking in big circles. Sometimes I walk across sand. I'm going to find the sky and I'm going to exist. David's animations are filled with psychological horror and disturbing subject matter and is sure to satisfy your morbid curiosity. Robert Morgan is a stop-motion animator who started uploading in 2009, with his first video being The Cat With Hands. Robert's animation have a unique feel to them, but the most disturbing has to be The Separation, released on May 27, 2009. The Separation details the story of two conjoined twins who were connected to one another at birth, and after being separated, are free from the flesh that bound them. However, one twin dreams of being joined again with his brother, leading him to obsession and even self-mutilation. Seeing this, the other twin constructs a machine designed to sew them together and, after showing his brother, hops onto the sewing machine platform. Before the other brother can join him, he suddenly falls, breaks the power switch, and thereby horribly mutilating his brother that, to the twin's horror, can only experience the world through smell, as his mouth, eyes, and even his limbs are all gone. The video ends with the disabled brother dreaming, dreaming of finally connecting with his conjoined twin. Majibon is a YouTuber who started uploading in 2006. Most of her videos consist of her smiling silently into the camera. You're probably wondering why we put her in this video, 
when so many others do the same thing. What made us put Magibon in this list is something that she didn't even do. Magibon.com is a website created back in 2008 and features three videos. The first two videos depict a man in a gas mask, known as Frank, obsessing over the YouTuber. The first video on the website starts off with disturbing audio and distorted footage of Frank drawing hearts around a drawing of Magibond. And the second is him writhing about on the floor, holding a doll with maggots crawling out of its eyes. The third video is simply a flickering background with distorted text saying, I'm sorry. <laughs> Shea St. John is an internet urban legend. If you're not familiar with Shea St. John, she is a persona created by Eric Fournier in 1990. Her backstory is that she got into a train accident causing her to lose both her arms and legs. Instead of prosthetics, she decided to use mannequin parts because she stated, it's fun. Shea St. John created the YouTube channel back in 2006 and has terrified people all over the internet with videos of grotesque figures and random imagery that has fueled nightmares for years. Shea created a website back in 2009 that looks more like a site from the deep web than your ordinary IMDB page. This site has many unsettling images that lead to endless subpages. however be careful because sometimes this site will try to download video files that make no sense at all. Every page you visit has different audio ranging from eerie music to a page that if you refresh it a few times will play audio of a woman screaming. After doing some research we found that the website updated for the last time in 2011. That fact is a lot more frightening knowing that Eric Fournier died in 2010. <laughs> Many only know Nana's name because of the popular creepypasta, username 666 video. But that doesn't even scratch the surface of what this person has created. The originator of countless internet urban legends and one of the most popular creepypastas ever created, Nana has created a style all their own. A little known fact about Nana is that she's skilled in stop motion animation. Back in September 2011, Nana released a video called Poco Poco Pico 10. At first glance, this video seems like a cute, innocent animation. However, after a few minutes, the video gets darker as a hand starts attacking the cutesy characters, eventually killing them. This animation will leave you frightened with its unsettling imagery and disturbing sound design. It must have been the most run-down, filth-ridden motel room I had ever seen. The kind of place where cockroaches didn't feel the need to scatter at the flash of a light bulb. I wouldn't be surprised if a whole civilization of the nasty things were living between the walls, laying their repulsive egg sacs wherever they please, and multiplying faster than an Asian kid on Adderall. I was seated at the edge of the bed, shifting uncomfortably atop its warped mattress while trying to ignore the rank funk radiating from a pile of unwashed sheets bundled up in the corner. It was the type of room people did everything but sleep in. It was fine by me. I didn't come there for shut-eye anyways. In my left hand was a half-drunk bottle of Jack Daniels. In my right, was a 32 Smith & Wesson. The extraordinarily depressing location was poetically fitting in a way. I was extraordinarily depressed after all. It was my wife who was the cause of my misery. She had broken my heart, leaving me with nothing but a vacant, grief-stricken soul, like a teenager who listens to Fall Out Boy and writes poetry on Tumblr. For a while, 
Suspicions of infidelity had loomed over our marriage, but I had always chalked up my conjectures as nothing more than paranoid delusions. They say denial is the best remedy for heartache. It wasn't